What's up guys? Here we are, uh, day five. Yeah, day five. We got do the take up. Ready to spray that. We got the bed today. We're gonna degrease the bottom of the bed, undercoat it, and uh, hopefully lay it down and start sanding it down. Get that ready for paint along with the fenders. So got a lot to do today. Let's get going on it. So I cleaned up the bed a little bit. I got some degreaser and cleaned that shit off. A lot of nasty gunk. Still got a little bit on it, but it doesn't want to come off, so it's fine. A little bit of undercoat. Let it dry and then I hit with some undercoat. No biggie. I got the fenders back there on the floor. I gotta sand those down, so. One thing at a time. All right, guys, we got the cap painted. Now, I've got it rolled out into the sun. So we're gonna go take a look at that. Let me flip the camera around. We're gonna go take a look at that. Oops, my finger there. Looks pretty good. I guess it's covered, I don't know, let's see. This doesn't look too bad. It looks covered, All right? Roof rails, roof, painted that pillar, just to get that done. A pillar. Got this A pillar done. The roof came out pretty good too. My bad. Painted that pillar. Not bad. Looks pretty good. Uh, do the plastic off, do all the tape off and whatnot. And then um, we also got to undercoat this guy. So we're going to undercoat that deal now too. Yay! Bam! Just like that, we're undercoated. Not bad, but it's not perfect. It works. It's covered. It's better than the bare metal that it was, or whatever factory coating it had. Boom. Doesn't look bad. Obviously, I got the hole for the fifth wheel. But. It's just some spray, spray can on the coat. It's nothing like super prepared or mixed or anything like that. So pretty quick, pretty simple. About seven cans or so to do this. 16 ounces each. All right guys, I'm getting ready to put the back window in. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you how I put it in with a piece of rope. Pretty interesting. So I put the rope in through the seal, overlap it obviously on the on the bottom, yeah, on the bottom, so it's easier. And overlap it, and then we just pull it once it's in the truck. Once it's on the truck, you get this part of the window, and you have somebody push it in while you're on the inside pulling the string. And when you pull the rope from the inside, it'll pull the bottom lip over. It'll pull it over the metal lip of the windows. Way. It'll get it over here, and hence putting it into place. I'll see if I get my brother out here to help me do this real quick. Put the window in this deal. Okay, sorry guys, we didn't record putting the window in because my brother showed up and it was one of those hurry up and let's do this shit. I gotta go. So put the windows back in. Sorry guys. Looks pretty good. Everything's shaved and smoothed out. Can't wait to see it with the bed on and the tailgate with the handle relocated and the roll pan, everything molded in, shaved. Should look nice. Okay, so the window's obviously in. We put the interior back together, the carpet on the back wall, C pillars, upper pillars, speakers, 
kick panels, uh, sill plates, I mean. We got, yes, I got a 40, 20, 40 seat in the back seat and the front seat, yes. I got the center caps off the rear wheels, whatever besides the one. So, it's all back together. You can see the bed back there, hello. So at least the inside of the truck is back together. I'm waiting on some Raptor liner and whatnot for the bed. Should be here in a couple of days. Um, all right yeah. guys, thanks for watching. Like always, like, subscribe, <clears throat> share, comment. Tell me what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see more of, what you don't want to see. <clears throat> Until the next time, the next video, we'll meet back in the garage.